Hi there, this is Ed Steele with Gadget Madness, and today we are going to supercharge your PS3. And to do that, we're going to use three products. Obviously, you've backed up the data off your PS3, as uh, previously shown, and you're ready to now install the new hardware. The components we're going to use today to supercharge the PS3, we're going to use the Monster Tron Power Charging Station with four USB charging ports and uh, this provides clean power and protection and filtering to the PlayStation 3. We're going to use a Power A Media Expansion Bar. This adds Compact Flash, SD Card, MMC, Memory Stick Pro Duo as well as additional USB ports to the front of your PlayStation 3 Slim. This product unfortunately is not compatible with older model, model PS3s, so if you're using an older model, don't worry about that part. Or actually the Monster Tron charging station. Sadly, that's also only compatible with the Slim. But here we have a Western Digital 750 gig SATA hard drive. This is a 9.5 millimeter, not the 12 millimeter, which won't uh, fit in the drive bay of the PlayStation 3, slim or original. It's 5400 RPM for heat. Uh, anything faster, you're going to possibly run into heat issues. It's better just to use what Sony recommends, we think, which is 5400 RPM. Uh, it's a 2.5 inch SATA, not pay to drive. And this is a SATA 150, 1.5 gigabytes per second drive because PlayStation 3 does not make use of the 3.0 or the 6.0 gigabytes per second of the newer drives. So, let's just take a look at this pretty drive. These are not terribly expensive right now on Amazon, so I'm not going to throw the drive though. Set it down carefully. Okay, first thing, you want to get your old drive out of your PlayStation 3 Slim. On the back here, you'll notice there's a little flip cover. You can get your thumbnail under here very easily. Lifts right up. There is a single screw. Be very careful that you don't over torque. Use some uh, eyeglass or similar small screwdriver because you really don't want to strip this screw either taking it out or putting it in, do not use power tools for heaven's sake. Okay, so that's out. Now on the front, there's this little bay here. Cover pops right off. And there's a latch where your drive is located. So we're gonna lift that latch up and just pull. And the 120 gig drive that was in here comes right out. Uh, if I could find my, there we go. That's what I was looking for. Clean some of the dust off of that. I will more than likely, during uh, editing, fast forward this part because, quite honestly, Watching me unscrew every single one of these is going to be a little dull. Okay, we're back to um, we're back to regular motion. Here is our old drive. This simply slides right out. There we go. Lifts right out. Obviously I knew that. I was just trying to <clears throat> slide it out. Okay, here's our new drive. 750 gig. Slide this one right back in. And probably more than likely cue the Benny Hill fast motion right about now. Yeah. 
and back to regular speed. Our drive is ready to go in. Make sure we insert it the right way. Right now the PlayStation 3 is on its side upside down. So here's the bottom, here's the top, here's the Blu-ray drive slot. You want the label facing you and then in you go. Put the latch down and put the slot cover back. Replace the original screw that we took out. close the little flap. In the process here, and we use the compressed air. Compressed air is optional. Just like to keep it nice and shiny. All right. We have a freshly installed 750 gig drive. Of course, it's not formatted. We'll go through that step after we add our hardware uh, enhancements. First hardware enhancement we're going to add is the A-Power add-on bar. This adds USB slots as well as Compact Flash, SD, MMC, and Memory Stick Pro Duo. And this installs on the front, does utilize one of your PlayStation Slim power uh, or USB ports, but gives you two additional. There's a little catch here and that slides in up here. And then we plug in to the second USB port and voila. Pretty snazzy. Good form factor. Give you some additional USB ports if you want them, and the ability to import your photos and or videos via memory cards if that's something that you missed when you switched from the original to the slim, or if you never had an original and wished that you'd had those options. Here is the Monster Tron Clean Power add-on that we're going to install. Very easy. You probably saw this in the previous review, but the Slim just pops right in and plug in the power. And now your PS3 is ready to be restored. We've added the Monster Tron Clean Power with the nifty uh, LED lights that'll power on when we plug it in. This gives you four additional USB ports for charging. The A-Power add-on gives you two additional USB ports for plugging in directly to the PS3. These USB ports will charge even when the unit's off. So, let's move on to restoring our system backup.